here as we go. And this was just a, a, a peak on the Indian. Uh, we will start, this is a, a few lines below the middle of the page, Nun Hei. Um, the line begins with the word Lemalchus. And the line after it is as follows in Stalsumus. And we are in the middle of this line, Lemalchus, a little further here. Yeah. Alright, the big thing to understand, the principle that we need to understand over here is that Melech Lahila, Melech Tato. And the Zoya refers to it as two worlds. Amo Ilon, Amo Tatoa. <coughs> what is the principle represented by the word Melech? And here again, we must go a little bit deeper below the surface to understand what see this refers to in the, the Melech, where the Torah talks about Melech. And the reason that we have to go below the surface, because on the surface, the way we think of Melech is a ruler, a despot. I got to think more than just get there. Just one second. A very grave misunderstanding, a grave misrepresentation of the Inah Melech Malchus. In Torah Melech, the Melech is the supreme presence of the Jewish people, even even higher than a Novi. The Novi comes and he bows to the Melech. Not because of the sheer power of the Melech. The reason the Melech has this kind of a right, this kind of a power, is because he represents something supreme. what we need to to focus in and understand in order to relate to this concept. to think in terms of ourselves, in terms of the whole world, despite all the learning that we are doing, every entity in the world has to provide for itself. It is there to provide for itself, to secure itself. And if it should not stand up for itself, then it will be swallowed up by something else. And the Gemara says, Dogim Shubiyam. Ha God Machavir, Billy Es Chavir. There is not a sense of, of, a, of, a, of a reality, each to himself. What is a reality, each to himself? It is important to realize every one of us, every individual person in the world, particularly Ayyid, belongs here. 
not only is he as he always speaks all the time about as an invited guest he is a member of the family he's a Ben Melech From whom does he get, where does he get this right and this phenomenal presence? He gets it from the Melech. What does it mean he gets it the Melech is, is supreme above? As we say all the time, the Melech doesn't mean anything. And this is the phenomenal element of a Melech. that his greatness is such that that he 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 actually represents his greatness not merely of being remote the Romanus is interested because nothing bothers him that's not a, a, that's not really the the a, a very praiseworthy element. It is praiseworthy if it results in, in, in the in the hashpah that comes from this. Like like the Prosik says, Melech Shmoy Nikro Aleya. His name is called upon them. What is that his name is called upon them? That he actually recognizes everyone. Oh, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. And it doesn't mean mine because it's mine, it's not somebody else's. No, he, he actually relates to it. And he provides for everything a a, a stance, a, a, a respect. Don't you dare touch this child, this is mine. I was just thinking, just for some reason it occurred to me, in a mikveh, I don't remember what the thought process was, when Odom and Chava Eight from the Eitz Hadas. And I mentioned to you that the Birches HaShachar are things that we really should learn and contemplate. We really inaugurate the day on the basis of Birches HaShachar. So, the Prosik says, what do we have eight from the Eitz Hadas? And all of a sudden, they became aware of their, of their openness, exposure. Despite the fact of the great Madriga that they still retained, but this was an exposure, an inappropriate exposure. Who took care of them? They made, it says they made Aleteina, they took some kind of leaves and covered themselves. Hashem Elikim, Vayas, Hashem Elikim, the Odom, Rishte, Kosne, Soya, Vayad Bish. Hashem made them garments and he dressed them. He was the first tailor. He made garments to fit their bodies. And the Odom Olishti for Odom one kind of garment and Olishti another kind of garment. Why? Because they, are, they represent him. They're, they're his, they're his uh, creations. They represent their they, as we say many times, the human, human being stands for the God, Godly presence in the world. And therefore, this union that it's inappropriate to be exposed, it's not, it's not because of the, of the human being himself. He can acclimate to anything. <laughs> That's a fact. As a matter of fact, the wise men on the outside, they say, no, the whole thing is because you're just accustomed to it. Not for that, it wouldn't bother you a bit.
and they are bent on removing all all our quote unquote habits that are because of because of because it was over super, superimposed upon us. It is not natural for us. You know something? There is truth to that. If you don't, you're not aware of the Melech, Shmoy Nikra Aleim, that you're part of the greater creation, yes, indeed, the human being can actually live like a, like a, like a cockroach. Except, he's out of place there because he has Seichel, he, he has a different kind of Nashona, and he is capable and he is aware of the greater reality. <coughs> When a human being walks around not properly clad, he's embarrassing himself. Why is it embarrassing to him? As far as he's concerned, he can do anything. It's embarrassing to him because he's exposing his stupidity. That he's not aware that there is a, such a great reality around. His blindness. Like the Alter Rebbe says, the Alter Rebbe talks about the time of davening and the people in, in Davin, and and you and you, you and you go into Avdarim Betelim in, in Shul. So the Alter Rebbe says, when a person, when you stand, and, and the Melech is coming out to greet his people, and people are standing on the line, the Melech is passing by, and they're you know, preoccupied in all kinds of things. Shaita. That's how that's what the, the reference would be. You would be a laughing stock of everyone. Look at this, look at this idiot. He doesn't understand what's going on over here. That is the embarrassing thing about inappropriate in, improper exposure. A melech? Is the one who provides this perspective. He provides the, the sense of respect for every creature in, in every, every every subject. In other words, as supreme as the Melech is, this is the name for Melech. He 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 reveals of his glory. Shmoy Nikro Aleya. He reveals of his glory upon his country, upon the subject. And where is he with? On everything. Uh, absolutely everything. This is why how you walk, how you talk, how you sit, how you run, how you fight, everything. Everything. Because in everything there is the the there is the the oir, the sh the sham hamelch. And this is where we can begin to understand the the similarity, the correlation between Bino and Malchus. Bino exposes the inner content of Chokhmah. And why does it expose in that Because, because, because in Chokhmah there is this in this in Hamalchus. Chokhmah is not meant just to have a concept, but it's meant to illuminate. Ultimately, it goes into Bina and becomes the name of the Chokh. And then there is Malchus, which exposes the content of the other of, of all the spheres. So, and this is the Melech Eloh Moach Tato. The difference between the Madrigi of Bino, which is Melech Eloh, and Madrigi of Malchus, which is Melech Tato, is that the Melech in Bino 
been a something which is primarily known to the Melech himself. He recognizes his greatness. Whereas in Malchus, it's exposed it, it, in, 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 to completely the outside. This is where he is actually mashpia on on the on, on the people on the mal on the mal on the, on the country. He's not he's not mashpia yet. He, he's mashpia in his estimation. He's, he's well, Malchus or Bin? Ma- Malchus. Hmm. There's no Matthias here. What? Malchus. There's still no Matthias. He provides for the Mitzvahs. You're absolutely right. There is not a Mitzvah. But put it this way. In the Hans discussion, should the BMT to be able to relate to it? That's the Malach, the Malchus. Should the BMT is you would be able to trace and say, oh yeah, this is where it's coming from. This is this is what gives gives it um, uh, a, a presence. In Malchus itself, there isn't anything. It's just the milk. And, and, and why? Because everything is bottled to the milk. But it's still Malchus. It's not Chochm. All right. Let's let's continue as much as we can go. All right, so as you said, can you you press down the box over here, please? Thank you. Um, The line begins with the Malchus, who begins. Right, the Meshokha, the Bina, the Malchus. The Meshokha, from Bina to Malchus, represents the principle of Brocha. Brocha means to draw down, which means to reveal. Reveal that which is already provided for. This is this is the Shachin of Malchus. The Hoinenu. The principle in this is. Why is it Hamshochem in Bino Lamalchus? You know, the Hine Yodua, the Yiken Ashkosa, the Stashkos, whom in Bino. That the principal starting point of Hishtalshulus is from Bino. Again, Hishtalshulus is a similar thing that we just now discussed. And the principle of mistalshulus is that it's mistalshul, it, it, it chains downwards. One level results in the next level and the next level and, and further down. Why is it mistalshul? Why is it, why is it result in the, in the next level and the next level and the next level? <clears throat> in simple terms because the the, the 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 upper level where there is already a recognition of something there is recognition that this sense that this this something is not really capturing the real truth where this is rooted from where this is coming from. 
For example, I'll take a very simple example. As we speak all the time, you go and you design a car. It's all its bells and whistles. Until you see the car, so to speak, in, in full schematic, and then furthermore, furthermore, and all its parts and so forth, something is not is not complete in the explosion of the car. You haven't completed your thought. Why not? I have it fully designed. The principle of designing a car is not the the smarts that goes into designing the, the engineering design. That is not this, the, the principle. This is not what motivated, but the spirit behind it. As we say all the time, what the design, what is the spirit behind the car? A completely different thing. A profound human perception. And all of the designs is just capturing, oh, that idea, yeah, it can be done like this. Can, until, and then, and it goes from, from step to step, because all, the whole time, there is this hovering reality. It says, no, it, it, it's, not, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. It has to come to the point where you can actually get in the car and move it. Not theoretically, not conceptually, but in fact. That's when it captured the real motivation behind it. And this is what he says, as whole as a histalsus is me bino. Bino, as we said, bino is malchus de leil. Which means that bino recognizes in the chokma all of its content. And why does it be not recognized in, in the Chochmah all of its content? Because it realizes that there is a profound truth, reality over here, not just a concept. The reality. As we said many times, Chochmah is the supreme Koyach, but all the Koyachs are rooted in Keser. That which is higher than Chochmah than Seif. And Bino represents Keser more than Chochmah does. Because of this Indian that we said, that it, this, this actually goes back to the reality, the human reality itself. Not just a means to an end, but the end itself. Reishas are Hishtal Shulus, Yismi Pina. Reishas means, one is the starting point that, that it begins a, a chaining down to ultimately bring it out in, in the most, in the most Mitziyazdike um, state, presence. This presence, as we said, we said the other day, this presence of the world, this presence. Yes, to us it means that it begins at this point where, where it becomes present. But it actually is reflective of the true presence. Of the supreme presence. Where is that recognized first in being Bina says, Chochmah is wonderful, but you haven't captured the real truth. The truth, yes, but the real presence you haven't captured. So, <coughs> so how does Bina, how does, I missed something, I always apologize. Bina ca captures more than what Chochmah is um, showing it? We're not showing. Bina captures more than what Chochma is. <coughs> Bina, so Bina is the Kesser, representing the Kesser, not just the Chochma. 
Is it the second one or the first? It's being as defi defining or finding the um, content within Chachma. We will, we will have to, we will have, yeah, we have to go a step, a step back very quickly. We, our time is up. What's Chokhmah about? Chokhmah is a concept. Again, we get misled by the, by, by certain terminology. A concept to us means I have a problem, and now I have a way me to solve the, pro the problem. That's my chokhmah. Now, was the whole chokhmah is created by the by the presence of a problem. Except the chokhmah is gets a quick resolution, a quick, just a point of resolution, and then you have to develop it. But who creates a chokhmah? The problem. That's not, that's not what chokhmah is. Chokhmah, you said, initiates the problem. You said many, many times that, that they said, well, the whole talk intellect versus, versus instinct. Intellect is sourced in the nefesh. It's sourced in the reality of the nefesh itself. Chokhmah is the exposure of the nefesh at a koyach level. And what initiates it? Not, so not the problem. What initiates it is the koyach makifi. Of Rotson and Neunek. This is what initiates the Chokhmah. Therefore, this is just the key to therefore, Chokhmah, even in the Chokhmah, already speaks of a presence. But in Chokhmah, the presence is remote. Because Chokhmah looks to the to the to the to the source of the presence, and Bino exposes the presence itself. Why do we have Chokhmah? Because we have a nefesh, we have a presence. Not because we have a world that challenges us. I'm sorry, say again? Doesn't the challenge bring in the Chachmah? It is conceivable. The challenge has not triggered. It's conceivable that you become aware of the Chachmah due to the challenge. But what you're aware of is something new. Like we said before, all the Mechaber were exposed inappropriately. Who bothered them? The animals bothered them? What kind of challenge was it? It is that, that, that they, they perceived the higher truth through their Chochmah. On that exposal. Okay, we have to we have to interrupt. Have a great day. So, it sounds like the very fact that Chokhmah can perceive is even higher than what it perceives. Is that kind of what we're getting at? Yeah. Um. That is definitely true. Like you said, 
several times over these glasses. Yes, yes, she will be over. What is in her chokhmah? He doesn't even know what he knows. He just knows that, that, that is the truth. All right, have a great day. Vina exposed.